Alright guys, we're halfway through. Uh, I thought you... I would be able to get your attention using our prints right here. Trust me, this is... Uh, this applies to my presentation, I promise. So, uh, the Invictus Games, Mental Health and Wellness 101. So, first of all, I want to thank the Invictus Games staff, as well as my supervisor, Elwin, and our work group for allowing me to do a very interesting and dynamic uh, practicum placement and kind of giving me free, free reign to do a lot of interesting projects. Um, and I'm not sure if any of you have heard of the Invictus Games, or if you haven't, I will go over it very quickly. So, what are the Invictus Games? So, the Invictus Games is the world's first multi-sport international games that is dedicated for wounded uh, veterans and currently serving military members. So, Toronto will be hosting the Invictus Games this September 23rd to 30th. And we have a lot of numbers here. So, we have here, we have 17 nations coming in, 13 adaptive sports, 550 competitors, lots of media, lots of su support staff. But the number I want to focus on here are the volunteers. So, the Invictus Games, um, even though it was introduced and created by our royal patron, His Royal Highness, D, uh, His Royal Highness um, Prince Harry, is run on a very limited budget, and therefore we have incorporated lots and lots of very eager volunteers to help with the game's operations, both front of house and back of house. So they will be running anything from medical, ticketing, accommodation, sports, uh, security and they are the backbone of our organization. So they will be interacting with many of Invictus Games customer groups. So I'm just gonna very quickly touch upon them. So of course, our competitors, they will be interacting, they will have a chance most likely to in interact with some competitors, but also media personnel, other, co other non-competing -comp military members such as family or friends. We have spectators, any sports fans, we have dignitaries and VIPs, and basically people from all over the world. We have, you know, 17 different nations, but many more from different countries coming in to watch these games and supporting the competitors. So because of these customer groups and just the military background, uh, doing a risk uh, health services risk assessment, we identified a very strong need for mental health support because of um, any linkages to PTSD and maybe some mental illness. So uh, the medical team, which is what I was on, uh, developed a mental health, a tiered mental health response, which looks like so. We have our general volunteers. So maybe I think around 1,100 of our volunteers will be considered general volunteers in this um, instance, which are basically anybody who's not medically trained. So we have our general volunteers here. And they will be trained to be the front line of any mental health um, response. And uh, anything that will require medical attention will go down to medical volunteers. Anything that would need very specific mental health response will go to mental health volunteers. And anything that we, uh, they consider an emergency will uh, dispatch emergency medical services. So, uh, therefore, Mental Health and Wellness 101 was created. So, what is it? <laughs> All right, so Mental Health, and, Mental Health and Wellness 101 is an online training module that will provide our general volunteers, so the big group of volunteers, with foundational knowledge of customer service, mental health, and wellness during the 2017 Invictus Games. And... It was created using several partners, partnering agencies. So IG-17, sometimes I will refer to it as IG-17 for, you know, uh, to be quicker. So IG-17 Medical Team, which is where I worked on, will be owning this uh, training module. And they worked with several external partners. So uh, CAMH, the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, was our major sponsor. And they were kind enough to provide um, human resources as well as some of their own uh, materials to help us develop our module. So I'll go over briefly what they provided and how we uh, Invictusized what they gave us for with our own content. Uh, we had uh, Canadian Armed Forces because of the military connection. We had them consult with us and tell us basically how they wanted the military to be portrayed in this module. 
and our internal functional areas, because we are a big uh, machine that works together, we have our workforce team that would distribute this to our volunteers, as well as the IG's 2017 tech team that will provide any sort of technical services because this is an online module. All right. So these are the learning goals of Mental Health and Wellness 101. Number one, to build awareness that mental health and wellness is on a spectrum. I know that seems pretty obvious to a lot of us, but to the general public, that may not be general knowledge. And we want to prepare volunteers to interact with and support ID2017 customers who may be at any point on the mental health spectrum at any time. And lastly, we want to help the volunteers understand how and when to access the medical support systems at the games. Now, how can it be accessed? So I'll just briefly touch upon accessibility, both how to access it and any accessibility issues. So uh, when our volunteers accept the role uh, with the Invictus Games, they'll be given a link to, this is our volunteer portal, and uh, there will be a link to Mental Health and Wellness 101, which uh, is not password protected or anything, and there they can uh, do a self-guided um, module, and they are expected to know everything before the game starts. Uh, now, this is accessible to the public, although the link is not very easily searched online, although, and we are working to make it a little bit more available to the public. It's also uh, using Storyline learning management, uh, learning management System, which means uh, for it, it would be able to adjust the font sizes as well as contrast for any people who have visual needs. And now, why is this learning important? Well, we want to create an atmosphere that is welcoming and positive for everybody. So that means any spectators, any competitors that are coming in, as well as making a, a welcoming atmosphere for the volunteers themselves. And we know that a lot of people from diverse backgrounds will be attending. So it's really important that we prepare these volunteers to be in any sort of situation possible. And we also want to make sure that everybody involved in the games uh, is both mentally and physically safe. And lastly, we want to build uh, their confidence and their competence um, in their roles as a volunteer and being able to interact with anybody and feel really, really comfortable and safe doing so. So I'm just really going to quickly touch upon the content that CAMH had given us to Invictusize and talk about things that we had removed from their module and maybe added that would make it more applicable to our situation. So here's a little screenshot of their Mental Health and Addiction 101, Veterans and Mental Health, which is kind of what we based our foundation off of. So uh, we did remove any um, indications of addiction, and I'll talk about that after that. And we also removed a lot of focus off of mental health. Oh, okay. And here we removed a lot of content about suicide as well. So uh, the reason for this is we completely, we don't want to gloss over the fact that suicide addiction is part of mental health and PTSD. However, it is not really in line with our learning goals of the module. And we want to provide excellent customer service regardless of mental health status. And we know as, uh, personally as an educator, we know that it's such a heavy, heavy subject will probably be one of the takeaway, um, if we talk about suicide and addiction, will be their takeaway when we want the takeaway to be customer service regardless of who is involved. And we removed veteran specific content um, because the Canadian Armed Forces uh, wanted to make sure that we didn't create such a heavy link between the military and PTSD and mental health, but also because they only make up a percentage of the customer groups that people will be interacting with. Um, lastly, so our main takeaway that we want for our volunteers is that we want to break the, uh, the association between veterans and PTSD. So we want them to understand that not all veterans have PTSD and not all people who have PTSD are veterans. And also we want to make the, we want to disassociate mental illness with any, with any physical manifestations. We want them to understand that there are uh, people with mental illness maybe are um, they have invisible illnesses and maybe there are signs and symptoms that they won't be able to recognize physically. And lastly, we want them to recognize their role boundaries. So uh, what we don't want them to do is feel almost overconfident in their ability to deal with mental illness because we do have uh, medical professionals there for a reason. So we don't want them to see somebody who maybe is going through a 
med a medical emergency and them feeling a little too confident and saying like, okay, I got this, instead of um, approaching a medical volunteer for help. And uh, so if anyone's interested and is in Toronto, um, I have lots to talk about the Invictus Games. I love it. And uh, they will actually be in Victoria again doing a flag relay. So if you guys are here, you should definitely check it out. OK, thank you. Awesome. Uh, it is not on. Okay. When you tell people, they go, are you okay? Are you all right? No, I'm fine. <laughs> At least for my own thing, I'm fine. <laughs> but I think that's really good, and I think we need to sometimes distract ourselves away from that because there is people who are okay, and um, you know, sometimes do the like, <coughs> always ongoing, you know, how, how are you doing? Are you okay? So I think that's fantastic. So I just want to make that point. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> I guess my question is, is there an hand? If not, then I'll ask my question. That is, can you help us make the link from your work back to public health? How is this public health? Yes, uh, that was actually towards the end, and I was towards the end of my 10 minutes. All right, so um, essentially, this. Although the general volunteers who will be taking this module will be small compared to the public or the city of Toronto, um, this is kind of like a, this will be almost like, not a pilot, but by developing something that would address just basic customer service and mental health, maybe not even PTSD, definitely not specifically veterans, is definitely a start to kind of breaking the stereotypes and the stigma around just interacting with other human beings, regardless of where they are in the mental health uh, spectrum. And we hope that by being involved with the Invictus Games and getting this training, no matter how basic it is, it'll really change people's minds about how they talk to others and also be able, you know, this is, a, this is an experience that people are excited about. Our volunteers are very, very eager to be part of, and, and because this will, we're hoping, will be a very positive experience for them, they'll be talking about this for years and years to come um, with their friends, with their family, and create kind of a bigger awareness of just basic human interactions with people despite um, any mental illness. So uh, we're hoping that this will continue. Uh, we're working to make this, um, our module, uh, widely available to the public. Uh, we're not sure how to do that right now because it's owned by Invictus Foundation, so we'll figure it out. Okay. I think we have a mic that works now. Are there any other questions? Okay. No? If not, then thank you, Cynthia. Thank you thank so much. You.